Uh, I gotta record this. Hey everybody, what's up? Chili Dude 27 here, bringing you part 10 of Ratchet and Clank. In the last episode, we got to um, this purple, you know, spandex lady. And in this episode, we will be competing in the Hovercon Intergalactic Hoverboard Championship. Let's go. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Oh yeah, there's something interesting I want to show you guys. Um, let's see, where is it? Um, where is it? Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. It's way up there. Yep, there's a floating screen right up there. You can s you know see it and everything before the race. <laughs> okay, this is the hovercon race. Now, on the track, there's three different things that can give you boosts. There's little um, red arrows on the ground that give you pads. Um, there's these blue flying rings. If you go through them, you get some boost. And um, there's also one other thing, but I'm not going to get into that until like a minute or so from now. There's always a certain path that I there's a certain path that I always take whenever I do this race, and I always you know freaking I always lose. It always takes me like three or so tries to actually get. Case in point. Anyways, the other thing on this track that gives you boost is amiibo. <laughs> Failure. The other thing on the track that gives you boost is amiiboids. If you run over the amiiboids, you get some boost for a brief period of time. Grr! Okay, most of these ramps have re no real point or purpose to them. I, you know, I just use them to avoid all the various TNT. Yeah, getting killed is your worst enemy because even if you're in first place, if you die, you go all the way back to fifth. I am freaking serious. Even if you're like, even if you've lapped them, like you're seriously a full lap ahead of them, you go back to fifth freaking place if you die one time. That is freaking cruel. And on top of that, these skid clones can kill you. Yes, if you're close to one of them, they'll trip a box of dynamite just to kill you because they're freaking invincible. They can run through dynamite like it's freaking flowers and puppies. See, look, you die one time, you go back to you know, a few feet before where you were, and you go back to fifth place. How's that for freaking punishment? Seriously. Okay, it doesn't really bother me so much that, you know, you get sent back to 5th place. What bothers me is that the skid clones are in freaking invincible! They can run through all the dynamite they- Ha! <laughs> they can run through all the dynamite they want, and they will never get hurt once. They can just keep on going forever, they have infinite boost, they're basically freaking- Ah, you know what, screw it, I'm not gonna win. Screw it, I am restarting. Good. Okay. Um, let's try this again. Okay, that box is a bit harder to avoid, but you know what, whatever. Oh yeah. Oh god! Dang it! Uh, it's really hard not to cuss on the freaking internet. It's really hard not to cuss because I know peop you know, I know some people from my family might watch this. Keywords might, but I don't care. I don't want to get in trouble. Have freaking mercy. Oh, at least they put a boost ring up there to give you a little bit of extra help. But I mean, seriously, Insomniac, you have to make the hoverboard race so freaking hard. Okay, oh, uh, skid, skid clone, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. What the? What the heck? Did my head just go through the. What? Whatever. Anyways, I always take this lower route for the most part because, you know, there's some me boys here. You can run them over and get some boost. So I figure that helps. Uh, every time I talk about something being helpful or useful, I die. I freaking die. That is atrocious. Freaking atrocious. Ugh! Anyways, you want to take this upper part up here, mostly just because there's a ton of TNT down there. If you go down there, you are committing suicide! You will die. A very painful, explosive death if you go down there. And I'm not talking about diarrhea from KFC. That was a bad joke. I apologize. <sighs> Try again. Very worthy punishment of a KFC reference, indeed. 
And even though I do use post commentary, basically watching back over my footage, I don't remember any of this. Like, if I'm playing a video game, I'm completely zoned out. And I really don't remember anything about it. I mean, hey, you, you know those recaps I do at the beginning of an episode? I usually have to... It's usually either A, 20 minutes after I recorded an episode, or B, I have to watch the last episode again because I don't remember what happened. I don't keep track of my own progress, but whatever. Try not to die, try not to die, try not to die, try not to stupid skate clone. Don't, 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 you, don't you dare kill me! Don't you... Hard not to say, God dang it, but you know what? I simply sometimes cannot control myself, and I'm very sorry for anyone who takes that offensively, but I am cannot. I am just so mad. This is this is annoying. I'm sorry. I apologize for my words. If that offends if that offended anybody, please come on, come on, win, win, win. Come on. <laughs> Freaking overkill. You explode like six of the boxes and then I come down on another one. That is just pain. That is just bad. Okay, that is just overkill. Alright, you know what? Now, the, the, the game's basically only giving me the middle finger, alright? Yeah, you know what? You think you're gonna win? Screw you. <laughs> okay, go through these freaking things. Big pile of boxes up here, but I mean, you know... Ugh, I, I could never, you know, get act actually through the middle. I always end up just getting the top one or two. Ah, yeah, whatever. Okay, there's actually two hoverboard races in the game. There's this one, which is the Hovercon Intergalactic, and there's also a different one in uh, the Gadgetron Depot. You know, a guy says, you know, if you can beat my test bots in a race, I'll give you a job as, you know, my mascot, blah, blah, blah. Is it just me, or is there a lot of imperialism references in this ratchet game? Sorry, I just had like a little miniature burp there. <sighs> Come on, Ratchet. Just hoverboard. You know, okay, I, there's actually two games in the Ratchet series where Ratchet hoverboards. Um, there's this one, and then there's Ratchet and Clank Size Matters, even though that's called skyboarding. Because uh, when you're skyboarding, you actually have the ability to use uh, your boost fuel to fly around the track. <clears throat> like, it's a really useful feature, and it would have been freaking awesome to have that in this game, because this thing is a freaking death trap. But no! C couldn't have that. That would have been too convenient. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Insomniac. I'm calling you freaking out. <clears throat> oh, whatever. Come on, come on. Beat the skid. Beat the quark. Beat the skid. Skid, 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 skid. Yes! Yeah! It is my distinct pleasure to introduce this year's awesome. Intergalactic Champions. Let's give it up our new colors. Okay. Ratchet. So, this is, you know, Mr. Guy, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Man. Yeah, today's winners will take home a brand new professional platinum T5 quantum exhilarator. I hate this guy. Oh, yeah, and you know what the stupid thing is? Is that Quark's trailer is about 20 feet away right now. Yeah. Guess where we're going in the next episode, guys? Quark's trailer. Yeah. Who'd have guessed? <laughs> yeah. Well, seeing as how I basically just spent the entire episode failing at a hoverboard race. Oh. I guess next time on Let's Play Ratchet and Clank, we will be doing the next part of this level because, you know, it actually took me two parts just to get one thing done. That is freaking atrocious. I'm not very good at this, am I? Well, whatever. So, next time on Ratchet and Clank, we will be going to see Captain Quark in his trailer to find more information about Drek and blah 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 blah